and we'll leave Marco listening to the radio and travel to Lausanne, where in the semi-final Hungary meet Uruguay in pouring rain before 40,000 spectators. The first Hungarian attack brings a goal from Chibor, 1-0. And this is a Hungary playing, of course, without Pushkash, but Uruguay too are handicapped, for they're without their centre half and their great veteran brains in the side, Varela. There's Andrade bringing the ball through. And now Schiaffino. attack but the Uruguayan defense holds out and so it goes to half time yes your favorites may be out of luck Marco but you're in luck here's a lift for you but oh dear what's this it's going in the wrong direction still don't despair Sooner or later, something will turn up. In the meantime, we must go back to Lausanne, where the Uruguayans kick off in the second half. But it's quickly Hungary again on the attack. The attack develops down the right wing. Over comes the centre. Up into the air and into the net, and the scorer there, Hidekuti. 2-0 for Hungary, and it looks as though this is all over. Now something clicks, and this time the Uruguayans begin to hit back. It's centre forward Holbeck breaking through, shooting into the net, 2-1. And it looks as though perhaps the Uruguayans have got a chance after all. And again it's Holbeck. He collects after he seems to have lost the ball. He shoots again into the goal, 2-2. And the excitement is too much for one player, and he has to receive some attention from his trainer. And there was an, a lucky one. Another shot, and again the ball is saved. The, ball, the game has gone into extra time, and it begins to look as though for the first time the Hungarians are facing defeat. But even in defeat, there's Kocic, and there he is, heading the ball into the net. And at the last moment, it seems as though Hungary are going to pull this match out of the fire. Now they lead by three goals to two. Once again, Kocic is there, and it's 4-2, and so Hungary have won through into the final of the World Cup.